guys don't don't look at the room um as you can see it is a little bit messy just a little bit but nah it's been a while since i like recorded with my face showing all them lethal company videos go watch them please anyways but today Today we're going to be playing something, something different. Something I've been wanting to play, you know. But, I don't know. But, today we're going to be playing, I guess you already read the YouTube title. Doki Doki Literature Club. Yep. You heard correctly. One of the most disturbing games. I, I, I. We're just gonna see for ourselves. It even said it in the. When I opened the, the game, it was like disturbing content. I'm like, we'll be the judge of that because we are gonna be the judge of that, unless you've already played. Then. Don't judge me. Onto the video. Hi. I see an, an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally obvious. Oblivious. <clears throat> To any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. My reading is ass. Whoa, whoa, what did I say? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but started from around. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more, and frequently, I would get tired of waiting up. Okay. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let sorry catch up to me. Ah! Overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait. Oh wait, no, that's B. <coughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <sighs> you say that like you were thinking about annoying me. Low key, bro. <sighs> RP to my roommate beside me. Uh. <laughs> He's probably just really late. The fuck is he doing over there? <laughs> anyways, anyways. That's mean, Chris. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. <laughs> fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Okay guys, so I want y'all to rate in the comments how good of a female voice I got. Y'all get a shout out. Whatever you say, sorry. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw, draw, draw. <coughs> As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Chris, have you decided on a club to join yet? 
a club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our mini conversations where I dismissively go along with every, whatever she's going on about. So she's a yapper. Sorry he likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just going getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clothes if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I, I guess. I promise you that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if it if she does is exaggerate everything inside her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever and is over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking at an ounce of motivation. Me, when I wake up in the morning, I just... just... contemplate about life. Because, like, what am I doing? Like... This is not even, like, my room. What? Well, it is my room, but at the same time, it's not. It's basically belonging to the college, but it's my dorm room. Whereas, you know, the regular the regular setting, you know, with the, with the Eagles banner, no relation, uh, either, yeah, somewhere in my room, at home. I miss it, though. Just a teensy bit. Teensy bit. Anyways. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sorry? Sorry must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom. Wait. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might be need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, you can come to my club. Sorry? Yay! Wait. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. <sighs> Maybe. Sorry is vice president of the literature club. <laughs> Not that I ever oh, was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the idea, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be, guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyways? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. 
Don't don't get on me if I said her name wrong. <laughs> don't make me promises you can't. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sorry is really that much of an airhead or if she so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? <laughs> yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly followed Sari across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sari, full of energy, swing I mean swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sorry always says says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Chris, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Now I gotta freaking remember all their voices. Okay. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredible cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry? Natsuki! Oh wait. Na Natsuki! Hmm! The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Masuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sorry. You could just ignore her when she gets moody. S Sorry says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is new. Not. So my reason God just don't want me to read. Is this is this is this game actually disturbing? That God just don't want me to read? Or if, or is it not him and it's just me? I'm the problem. I think I'm the problem. I have to be the problem. Anyways, this is no ski. Not not not. Not too sad. Anyways, full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> Yuri, who apparently may appear... <laughs> Making these voices is overwhelming me. Yuri, who p appears comparably more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sorry and Natsuki. 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 Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Chris. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Go sit down, Chris. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I get the cupcakes. Hey, I I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. 
And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sari mentioned, it's become widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sari. Natsuki and Yuri walks over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! Natsuki lifts the full of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icings and little pieces of chocolate were used to make cat ears. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, <laughs> well, you know, just hear me take one. Sorry, grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's, mm, it's delicious! Sorry takes, I mean, talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get ice in her face. I turn the cupcake around in my finger, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh, I thought you technically did, sorry, said. Well, maybe. But not for you. You know, you, you dummy. Alright, alright. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a cupcake and a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidating. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that's... that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Sometimes something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sorori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sorori seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm, in, I'm impressed. I mean, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You gotta probably be a board member for any major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I couldn't stand on the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing and arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encouraged others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also agrees in a joint I mean, agreement, nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. 
not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun, I mean, you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes cool events like the festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we all can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. <laughs> you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really... We have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't... I still don't really know if I can keep up with their levels of enthusiasm about literature. So, Chris, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on quietly, passionately, I mean passionate about her reading. She seems so refer re reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grabbed something I could relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess that's, I mean, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes started over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last class meeting. It looks like you were working up a point called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Eh! Your cupcakes, your poems! Everything you do is so just as cute as you are. Sorry, sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulder. I'm not cute! Natsuki... You write your own poems? Uh, well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N n no. Natsuki eyes. I mean, Natsuki alert her. I mean, averts her eyes. <laughs> you won't like them. Ah, uh, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. 
Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deeper, deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yui? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Not skating, Yuri looks quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with, e with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Chris? When the fuck did I ever say I was joining this club? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there. There's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I, I would join this club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. I mean, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Chris. You, you all. Who the fuck is texting me? Oh shit. I'm defenseless against three girls. I guess I'm gonna stop it here. Well guys, thank you for watching. I, I don't even know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, tune in for next time, I guess. For the credits, I, I guess. Watch out, watch out, I got it. No, it's okay, I'll get it. No, wait! We'll, we'll use the power of friendship. Oh, shit. Yo!